Teresa again. Now, on to card number two. As you can see, I have these three copies, and you saw the first copy, but these additional copies are basically taking pieces of each one of those stamps to make the next card. So what you're looking at here is I'm going to be taking just the candles off of this card and just doing a little bit different design with this but removing the candles so that they are by themselves. Then the other thing that I'm going to do on this card is I'm actually going to take one of the birthday sayings and create sentiment piece with the happy birthday saying as well as I'm going to be creating my own backgrounds for some of these. This is going to save you in the cost of buying additional paper basically using your memento black ink and creating backgrounds. So you see me here trying to decide whether or not I'm going to use the entire saying or just cut a piece off and I've decided to cut the piece off and then make a, a fish tail out of the side of it. So I'll trim that down and create my fish tail. Now to show you the example I mentioned, I'm taking this Memento black ink and I'm going to take it, rub it very hard on the edges to create just a bit of a border for the card. I think this will make sense once you see it. My first attempt at this was not happy with it, but what you're going to see is I'm actually going to make another card out of the washi tape that I'm using to tape off that base card to make my borders. So I'm going to be repurposing that even though I was not happy with this result. I turned it into another card. So I'm taping that down so that I have something that I can work with. I thought I would use that straight edge of that other card. Just couldn't seem to make that work. Again though, you'll see that I use this washi tape. I do like this washi tape. It's a fairly inexpensive item that you can purchase at any of your craft stores and you can use it for so many things. I'll continue to to use this but it's one of those things where you can use it in many different ways. In this case I'm using it to create a border. So I'm taking that black ink and I'm pressing it very hard to try to get that look that I'm looking for. Now what I've done is I've changed my mind. I've got some different washi tape that's a little bit wider and now I'm creating a border on each side with that black memento ink and I'm pressing very hard just so because I'm going to use these border items that I'm creating the black paper if you will to not only use it as borders on the card but I'm actually going to use it as a border around that greeting and this is my favorite part where you actually pull off the tape love getting that straight line and just using washi tape to make it happen. And now you have the two borders by just simply using up your base supply. And off screen I'm going to go ahead and color those candles. There's no reason for you guys to watch me color those again. But here's that other black piece of paper that I created as I was trying to make that other background and I'm just reusing it. I've made a couple copies of that happy birthday so that I can use it on more than one card. I do that quite often. I, I'm just trimming it so that it has the black border I'm looking for and then I'll cut the fishtails off the sides. And I think I've mentioned to you before but just in case I cut a small slit in the middle and then I go from the side to side to meet that middle and that's how I make my fishtails or dovetails. I've heard it called both. 
Now I'm going to go ahead and one of the other things that I like to do is I like to add dimensions. So I have taken all those scrap pieces of paper that I'm not going to be using and I'm basically stacking them up so that I have three stacks of paper underneath those candles so to add that dimension. And here I am actually basically just doodling, my favorite thing to do, making some squiggly lines and some dots in the corner to make it look like a little outline of the candles. As you saw on my last card, I basically just drew some lines to make it look like a movie reel. In this card, I basically just did some scribbles and some doodles. So this is card number two. We'll be moving on to card number three here very soon.